What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. So, today is going to be a little bit different. <clears throat> I don't really do the talking head videos that often or talking about the state of WoW or the state of the game or the community. It is something that I've been wanting to talk about more. And no, I'll just get out of the way now. I am not going to be discussing uh, what happened uh, with Blizzard and its harassment and its lawsuit. In this video, that is something that's going to be more researched and more in-depth uh, coming in the future. Especially because there has been more and more allegations. There's been more and more stories. And I want to make sure that I give that topic every last bit of respect uh, that it deserves. Um, and I'll go over that in a new video. Uh, so I just watched the video of Mad Season Show uh, saying that he was going to be quitting WoW. And for some people that might not be a big deal, but this has been a YouTube channel that has been around for many, many years. This is someone who has played the game for many, many years, and he voiced uh, a lot of concerns that I think many people have um, had with the state of the game. Uh, a lot of people were not happy that uh, level boosts uh, were being put in the game. Uh, many people were not happy with the fact that, um, that we had the Dark Portal Pass and people did not want to see Classic WoW turned into the same microtransaction fest uh, that, you know, retail has turned into. Now, uh, all that time ago, uh, Mad Season Show did call out that, you know, this isn't just going to stop with one thing. Blizzard is going to implement more microtransactions into Classic. And he was right. Uh, for me personally, uh, the one-time level boost does not quite um, cross the line for me when it comes to uh, monetizing uh, classic TBC. Uh, even though I did get the, uh, the Dark Portal Pass, uh, because, you know, I was streaming, people, uh, you know donated a little bit and I was able to get it. Um, that was very close to the line to me personally because you got a free mount. And even though you had to train, it was still a free mount. It still turned a big aspect of classic into something that you pay for. Um, back in the day, and even when classic was re-released, um, getting your mount was, is a big deal in the game. It's a huge milestone. And same with getting your uh, epic mount is also a huge moment, in my opinion, uh, in your journey in the game. So him discussing, you know, how these aspects of the game and maybe even in the future uh, with the leaked token that we might even get tokens in classic TDC. And frankly, he just doesn't even want to stick around in case that does happen. I get it. I completely understand that if a game has taken a direction that you don't like and you're no longer getting enjoyment out of it, you shouldn't play that game anymore. Games should be fun. If you are enjoying the game and you're enjoying what is being put out, play the game. The moment that you stop enjoying it, don't play it anymore. Uh, I used to really like Overwatch and I did not like what they had turned it into. I did not like that people were essentially cheating or throwing games to derank, and I wasn't having fun. So I quit Overwatch and never looked back, and I do not regret it even in the least. So for me, it makes me think of, you know, it's not just him who's kind of getting burnt out with WoW. There's a lot of what I would consider the old guard of... Uh, content creators who are all seemingly getting burnt out on what WoW has to offer. As many people know, Asmongold has been playing Final Fantasy XIV. His streams have been popping off. 
and I think there's even been uh, multiple uh, WoW content creators who have done Final Fantasy XIV streams. There's New World to consider, and, you know, which I think is a good thing because finally, uh, Blizzard has competition. Uh, Blizzard has dominated the, uh, the MMO space for so long with no real competition. I feel like they've basically figured, well, we can do whatever we want because nobody else has anywhere else to go. They're stuck here. And now that we have, you know, New World, uh, Ashes, and then, you know, the popularity of Final Fantasy popping off, I think... Blizzard might finally have to start taking a hard look at themselves when it comes to what they are going to do with World of Warcraft because I've already quit retail. I I was gifted um, the uh, collector's edition of Shadowlands uh, by a friend and we both leveled to 60 together. The story was okay. But the gameplay and the systems that were in place for retail, they're not fun. They're not enjoyable. It feels like a job. It feels like a chore to play retail. And I don't want a game that feels like a job. I don't want a game that feels like it's a chore uh, for me to play. Empty my bags. Um, so that's why I don't want to play retail anymore. Um, and there's so many people who did the same. Um, even though Blizzard has been making a lot of money off of their transaction, microtransactions, their subscriptions are definitely way down. People are really not happy with retail. So, I myself have actually been considering playing Final Fantasy XIV um, and, and investing a little bit of time into it because I do have a couple of friends who play it. And I'm still on the fence about it, but it's something that I had never thought about for years of playing this game and now I realize that it's kind of creeping into my thought process now I'm like well, maybe I will play this other MMO. The reason that I'm sticking with TBC uh, is for a couple reasons. One, I really enjoy TBC. It's one of my favorite expansions and I still have multiple goals that I'm working towards that I actually really want to achieve. Uh, I want to get the Warglaze of Azanoth, I want to get the Ashes of Alar, and I'm going to work towards achieving those, and I've, I've been really enjoying the streams that I do. Um, I have a small community of people who are really, really awesome, supportive people. I've really enjoyed having them uh, around for when I stream, and I'm incredibly appreciative of all of them. I, I, I don't know, some people might say that I'm part of the problem because on my streams I do free boosts. I boost people uh, with my Paladin, I do Undead Stratholme, Stockades, uh, SM, and, and I know some people are probably going to be like, well, you're part of what's, you know, killing the game because nobody is, is leveling a character normally anymore. Um, but what I try to do is I try to connect people uh, with others who are leveling or trying to get to Outlands and get those people to play together and run dungeons once they get to Outlands because from for many people they've they've played this game before this isn't anything this isn't anything new to them the game has Mad Seasons uh, said it perfectly right this game has been figured out and if you've played retail and you've leveled up numerous characters and you've played classic and you've leveled up numerous characters. I mean, how many times do you need to experience the leveling up experience before you say, okay, maybe it's okay if I use a boost or use my gold uh, to get to level, you know, 58 or 60 or whatever. Um, what I think this comes down to is I think WoW is right now at a turning point. I really do. I think WoW is either going to uh, die, not really die, but it's going to see even more of a shedding of users uh, throughout TBC as people realize, you know, maybe there really isn't anything of value that I see here anymore. Uh, like right now on our server, it's, impo it's, it's impossible to find a tank. 
Uh, most people are already raid logging, even though TBC hasn't even been out that long. Um, and it is hard to, to get dungeon groups together. Um, like I said, there's, there's numerous goals that I still want to accomplish in TBC. There's still content that I want to create. There's still people that I really, really enjoy playing the game with. So I don't, I don't see myself quitting anytime soon. Um, but I really do, I understand the people who are. I understand the people who have decided to pack it in and be like, you know what? I, I think I've had enough. Um, yeah, I think especially with what's going on uh, with the harassment and the lawsuit with Blizzard, um, I think there are going to be people who are going to protest Blizzard and say, you know what? I'm done playing Blizzard games. I don't want to support this company anymore. And I don't blame them at all. Um, also, the people who... I also am not going to judge the people who continue playing the game, especially if they stream or make content and that's their livelihood, because that's their livelihood. It's not, it's not easy to pivot a channel or to pivot a stream if you've already built a community without losing so much and possibly just losing your livelihood. So sorry if this was a bit rambly. After watching that video with Mad Season, after watching uh, that animated video of uh, This Is World of Warcraft, after seeing Asmongold and other content creators moving on to other MMOs, I felt like this is something I really wanted to talk about, not just for myself, but for others. And I would love to hear anybody who watches this, give me your opinion. How do you feel about the state of the game? How do you feel about the state of Blizzard? Are you going to stick with TBC through all the phases? Are you going to play a classic Wrath of the Lich King if it comes out? And then if you are somebody who has already quit or moved to another MMO, let me know. I want to know your opinion. Why did you move? What was the final straw? Please let me know in the comments below. This isn't just me trying to like, oh, get the algorithm for the for the comments. No, I really want to know what you guys think. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys are still enjoying this game or any of the games that you guys are playing. If you want to see me play this game or other games, you can catch me over at Twitch every day over at twitch.tv forward slash the Duke of TBC. I do free boosts all the time. Uh, I'm going to start doing giveaways, and I always do uh, raids and other content as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!